have the flour, which we're going to need two and a half cups of, which it says in the book, and two and one fourth of teaspoon instant yeast, which we got right here. Um, well, that's quick yeast, but no difference. And, well, there might be, but we, that's the only thing we have, and we can't go outside to buy it because of the coronavirus. And next we have the salt. Going to need one teaspoon of salt. We have the milk here. Three fourths a uh, cup of room temperature milk. And some milk. And we have the butter right here. Uh, the tablespoon, two tablespoons of honey. I'm gonna go get the honey. <laughs> oh no, the fork. <laughs> honey, one large egg yolk right here. Uh, vegetable oil spray one large cracked egg well we have two just in case and we need to beat it with the fork now so it's just okay so for the first step we're going to need a mixture bowl uh, the one for the mixer machine and it says for the first thing we're going to need two cups of um, the two and a half cups of flour that we have so let's get the flour make sure it doesn't fall Teaspoon of um, yeast. So for the yeast, this here. So next for the salt, one teaspoon of salt. Here, let's put all the yeast in there so that the yeast doesn't get into the salt thing. I'll probably ask the editor, aka myself, to edit that part a little bit faster which probably happened already so here's the teaspoon of salt and we have the salt next we have to just go mix it so once I get this salt thing to work go we'll go to the mixer and mix the uh, mixture. Actually, there was a step. The next step was actually to um, mix the liquid or the in four cup liquid measuring cup. Whisk milk and melt butter, honey, and egg yolk until honey has dissolved about 20 seconds okay well, we have the melted butter let's just go ahead and pour that in that looks pretty cool okay let's just put that on the napkin 
and two tablespoons of honey. It's quite interesting. kind of weird. It looks like it's like popping out. I'm going to use one of these spoons to dig it out. So here is the egg yolk, it's going to slide down the whisk or go through it. There we go. And now we'll just start mis mixing it. Just look at it, it's turning very light yellow. Go and put this into the sink. Okay, we just plugged it in and now we will start mixing. We're going to do it on two. We're going to slowly pour the mixture in. We're going to just put the flour on the side into the middle so that we can get all of it mixed. Just take... Just wash my hand. Start by putting flour onto the surface where we're going to need. Then we get the dough. Okay, I have the flour in my hand, and here I need to have to knead the dough now. Okay, so we it said to grease the uh, uh, bowl with oil, and we are going to grease this bowl. Right. So, okay, here's the dough. It's said to make it into a smooth ball. So, it's going to do this and then make it into a sort of ball shape and then put it in the pan. And then it says to cover it, the top with foil. And I'm going to go get the foil.
Okay, so now we're doing the plastic wrap. And next, we're going to have to rise it for an hour and a half to two hours. After rising for two hours, this is how the dough turned out, and now we will unwrap it. Let's see? It's still pretty sticky, but not as sticky and it rised okay and now we will have to go and do the next step i grease my hands just in case it's a little bit sticky like if like mine if yours is sticky i recommend you greasing your hands because if you don't it'll get all over the place okay let's crease the back of my hands now Thank you. Split them up into the shape you want them to be. So I'm just going to go for the classic Roll. shape. Here. Wait, hold on. Let's check if there's like a tip for shaping it. There was indeed a, um, a way to do it and they did it. First I'm going to show you the way they did it. So they just took these two edges and then they folded the top over like this. And then here's one. And if you just shape it, then it'll just. Look like this. I'm not sure what the difference is, but it seems like this might help. So I'm going to do it the way the book does it, just to make sure. Okay, so I have the last bit of dough. And I'm going to shape it the way the book did it smush it, <laughs> stretch it this way, and we create kind of a cross looking thing then we fold this part here pull this out this fold this on the top fold this then there's the roll okay so let me spread the rolls out a little bit and yeah, these are ready for baking now. Actually, there's a last step, and it was just taking an egg and doing this. Then taking the, oh no, some of the yolk spilled. Then taking the Thing, the brush and just covering it with the yolk. I'm pretty sure this is what gives it the nice brown look and it might give the crust the taste but I'm not sure so don't don't rely on that. Yep, and now it's ready for baking. Finally. Ready to um, get baked. It's at 350 Fahrenheit, and we're cooking it for 25 minutes. So, approximately starting at 30 minutes should be good. Right? Oh. Um, okay, so now we will cook it, or bake it. It's all ready, let's open the oven. Wow, look how good they look. Very nice.